Michael, congratulations. A 7-1 demolition job of Johnny Clayton here in Cardiff. You must be over the moon with your performance. Um, it was a good win, but I wanted to demolition. Johnny, yeah, two legs let me off. And I was just there to step in, so... Well, that 167, that was sweet. I think it's my first 160-plus check on TV for years. And then... Uh, Going into that last leg, I just did what I did last week. And when he hit that big five before, yeah, it's going to happen again. But luckily enough, I uh, left the 142 after nine and everything was sweet as a nut. There was no nerves, no nothing. I, I think what I did, I expected more from the crowd. And the crowd was pretty quiet tonight. They didn't bury me in nothing, so no, I'm happy with that. Two stunning performances in two weeks. And more importantly, you smiled on the stage two weeks in a row. Now, I know we <laughs> joked about this last week. Is this a mentality change for you now? You're just going to try and enjoy it and not put pressure on yourself? Uh, you know what's been happening, so it's one of them things. Um, I am happy again. And I've always been happy. It's just and I didn't like to show. I used to be I used to be an idiot as well. So where I used to give it large every three darts and every leg or whatever. And that, it's not me. Me, I'm a I'm naturally I'm a calm person. I'm very likable. I can get on with anyone. Massively. I don't I don't have a grudge with anyone. And that's what I like. So even on stage when someone gives it large, I'm like, All right, fair enough. I'd, but then I feel guilty if I did it to them. And I think halfway through that, not halfway through, I think like second or third leg, Johnny at 118, give it the finger. <laughs> I folded in 118, did the same thing. I thought, yeah, I can do it as well. Don't forget about me. And it's one of the things I don't overdo. I just. Just if he's doing it, I'll do the same as him. I'll do, I won't overly do it. Yeah. One eye on judgment. I know we spoke before the tournament. You said you were breaking it down week by week, enough points to avoid elimination. That's a massive statement tonight, isn't it? To avoid that last, dreaded last spot. Yeah, it would have been a, a massive statement last week as well. But uh, in darts, things happen, and they happen for a reason. And my, I'm still annoyed after the first week because that was my game. But if I turned up, it was two points in the bag, and that was like I think we spoke about this last week, where you pick games and yeah, you pick points. That was one of them. So I had to pull out the bag against Gez. Did the bluer. And last night, I, uh, last night, tonight, I could not afford to lose that game. And that's what I already meant, you cannot afford to do it. And back in my mind, I was thinking, they're going to boo you, they're going to do this. And I was like, every time I was, I was waiting for them to boo, before I stepped to the hockey for go for my double, it just didn't happen. And I don't know, for, I, I always criticise myself because. I have to be perf like a perfectionist, but no, I, play, I played really good tonight and I'm really happy with that. Are you pleased to get that Challenger game out of the way early on? Uh, I'd rather be judgement now like, if I needed the way. <laughs> no, no, Johnny Clayton's not a Challenger game. <laughs> By far, he's not a Challenger game. He showed that against Michael and the Masters. And I was expecting that. I even asked him just before he went on when I was downstairs. Did you play last year at No, it's a cut off. So I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought this was his second time, and then uh, his first fight. He's going to go tonight because of this. First leg, no, he's not going. So you've got you've got to step up now and do it. And I stepped up, and Johnny gave me two chances, which I didn't I didn't miss, and then the one six seven completely changed things. And I just I didn't run away with it. I just hit whatever hit I followed, and if he messed, I hit a bigger score. It's been a bit of a disappointing week for yourself, left out of the first two World Series events as, as world number five. Performances like that, is that a little nudge to the selector saying, hang on a minute, I'm still here and good enough and should be in these events? <laughs> Listen, me, me and the missus had things planned for like, we wasn't, where we can go in New York. Didn't get picked out, so that was a big kick in the, you know what, yeah. and then uh, Denmark, it was the same thing. I've been there a few times, and I'm not going to say because there's probably people watching. Me. <laughs> it's not, it's not. The, it's a nice place, but it's not for me. And same as Germany, I know it's not been released. You know you're not getting it because Clements won it last year. He's got to be in it, so I know I'm not getting it. So the thing you got to look forward to is Australia. But even Australia, if I don't get, if I got them, and then I've got to take my kids and the missus for the the three weeks. That's going to be a pain in the backside, but no, it, I'm, I'm not fussed if I don't get him. It does hurt that I don't get him because I've been overlooked by his people that, in my mind, are not even better than me. And I know when I play in TV events, I can turn up whenever he wants. I do play sloppy games, but I still win them and then I'll turn up the game after. And it's just one of them things that happen. And Barry always says, doesn't he, that the people, it's going to earn them money, but it's not. It's cost me a lot of money for not playing in them. Well, things happen for a reason. I'm going to step up now and make sure I finish this, well, can you say finish this year, start this year and finish the year strong and make sure I'm in the top four and guaranteed everything for the year after. Michael, pleasure as always, Dad. Thanks yeah, very much. Cheers, lad. Just a couple of